Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvin Drill and in this video we are going to be upgrading the BIOS version on this HP T630 thin client. Okay, so these kind of computers normally use Linux. So I have done a video in the past on which I reset the BIOS password on this specific model. So if you're interested in that or you need to do that first, the video is in the top right of this screen. So we need the serial number, e either if this is an HP, Dell, Lenovo, or any other brand, uh, we need the serial number. So the serial number in most models, in most manufacturers, are somewhere on the case. Sometimes it's in the top, there is a label there, sometimes it's on the side, sometimes it's in the back. So in this case, it's in the back, but I'm going to show you another way to check for the serial number. So you have to turn the computer on. As you can see me there, I'm going to press the power button and then I'm going to start pressing escape, okay? so. After a few seconds, allow me a few for to adjust my camera. After a few seconds that I am pressing the escape button, you can see this startup menu. So we have many options like continuous startup, utilities, diagnostics, and all that. So we need to go to the second option, which is system information, and press enter. So here's all the information that we need about this computer. We have the product name, we have the processor type, processor, processor speed, the system BIOS, the serial number, and all that. So for, for, for example, in this one, the system BIOS is 1.10. You can also find it in the top left and in the top right, uh, in the bottom right, I'm sorry, you can see the model. So what we need, like I mentioned, is the serial number. So take a picture uh, with your cell phone or write it down. We're going to need that in a few more minutes. The other thing that we need is a uh, USB. It can be any size, two gigabytes, four, 64, doesn't make a difference. The only thing is that anything that is on this USB is going to be deleted because we are going to format it. So keep that in mind, okay? So we don't have anything else to do for now here. I'm going to, like I said, this, this computer has Linux. So I'm going to be doing everything on a Windows computer, okay? So I'll see you in a few seconds. Welcome back. As you can see, this is my desktop computer and the icons are a little bigger so you can see better what I do. So the first thing we're going to do is going to check the USB flash drive. So this is the one I showed you a few seconds ago. It's called subscribe. So with that hint, this is a good time for you to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. So now I'm going to go into the USB. As you can see, this is empty, but to format it, you have to right click on it and press the format button. Well click the format <laughs> option. So we're going to do that later, but keep in mind that you're going to lose everything on this USB, okay? So next, I'm going to show you, this is my uh, YouTube channel, my IT workshop. If you scroll down a little, you're going to see many different videos about BIOS upgrade. So I, I advise you to check this one, uh, interrupting the BIOS version on a computer. So that shows you very important information before you upgrade your BIOS version, okay? So there are many models if you're interested. I'm going to leave the link in the description below for that video. So if you scroll down, I also have a playlist for many uh, many laptops, no, many computer models. So if you want to reset the BIOS password, okay? Again, the link is going to be in the video description below. So now we have to go to the HP website. So it's the, again, everything is going to be in the video description below. So it's going to look different depending at what time of the year you're going to visit the website. It's uh, close to Christmas, so it looks like this. So here we go to support, then software and drivers. And here we have to choose uh, desktop because this is a desktop computer. And from there, this is the part where you have to type the serial number that we recovered a few minutes ago. So after you type the serial number there, you have to press the submit button. So after a few seconds, it's going to load and it's going to show you a website like this. So as you can see there, the, the name of the computer, uh, this is how it looks. And this is all the drivers this computer needs. So you can see there the diagnostics, the driver for the sound, for the chipset, for the network and all that. So if you see the top one, it says BIOS. You click on it, you expand it, and you have there the, the 1.12 BIOS version. If you remember a few minutes ago, we have 1.10. So there is, a, there is an upgrade for this BIOS. So it, it came out March 4, so like six, seven months ago. So I'm going to click download, and you have to click uh, there as well, the orange box. And after a few seconds, it's going to download it. It's very like 23 megabytes. I have it over there. 
So I, I also have this HP. I have created it for this video. It's empty. You can call it anything that you may like, but this is going to be filled with files in a few more seconds. So now we're going to double click on the file that we have just downloaded. So it looks like this. So this is the presentation and then we're going to just click next. So we're going to obviously accept the license and then we're going to choose. Now I'm going to click change and I'm going to select the folder that I just created, HP. So next, that takes a few seconds. And now, as you can see here, the HP folder is not that one. I don't know why, that, why, why I click on that one is two levels down that one so as you can see now now it's um, it's not empty it's filled with folders and files so i'm going to click on win i believe it means windows and i'm going to double click on this update this is the actual update so i'm going to double click on it and after a few seconds it's going to show us like this um yeah System checking, it takes about 12 to 20 seconds. The, this update is for BIOS family, blah, 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 blah version 1.12. So by default, it's going to select the second option because we are going to do it in another device, in another computer. So create recovery USB flash drive. Yeah. It's selected by default and I click next. So this is the G uh, drive. Subscribe again. This is your chance to subscribe to the channel and like this video. So it's FAT32, no problems with that. And you have just to click on it. You have to select it like that. But I'm going to show you one more time. As you can see, this is the G drive. And I'm just going to, for you to see that this is the right one. So G drive, G drive. So select the right one, guys. You don't want to lose anything, okay? So next, and this is going to take like, this is going to take like 15 seconds or so. The video is sped up and it has finished. The recovery flash drive has been uh, successfully created. So we have three steps, power off the device, insert the USB and power on the device where we are going to do it. So that's the HP computer. So I'm just going to click finish. I'm going to close everything. And if you check the subscribe USB flash drive has been renamed to HP tools. So I'm going to double click on it. You only see one folder, Hewlett Packard. And if you go inside, you're going to be you're going to see many folders like the BIOS, the BIOS update, and all that. You don't have to touch anything. I'm just showing you what it has in this model. That's all we have to do. So I'm just showing you what it has. That's the actual update. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is what we have to do now is is disconnect the USB and go to the other computer. Okay. So I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to I'm going to see you again in a few more seconds. Welcome back. So this is the computer we have been working on and now I have the USB we have created a few minutes ago. I'm going to connect it to any available USB port and now I'm going to turn on the computer. And like we did before, I'm going after I turn it on, I'm going to start pressing the escape key on the keyboard to have access to the system menu. So there you can see the HP logo and now we have access to the menu. Allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. Now we have to choose computer setup and we have to press enter. Once there, we're going to see this menu, system information. We have to choose flash system BIOS, press enter, and then we're going to see uh, another menu. So since the USB is connected, it's going to detect that launch HP BIOS update. Okay, so we also have to press enter there and HP BIOS update thin client. So uh, a, an important system BIOS update is available. Do not shut down or remove external power from the computer during this process. So as you can see, the clock is going down three, two, one, and it's going to start the process. So this process is kind of long, takes uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to uh, sped up the video so you don't have to wait all the time for it. Okay, after that process has ended, uh, the verify a new BIOS image process is going to start. This is uh, will take less time than the other, but also I'm going to sped up the video so you don't have to wait all the time for it. Okay, once that process is done, we have this message that the screen is going to, uh, some of the LEDs are going to flash, but uh, that didn't happen to me, maybe it will happen to you, but we just have to wait. And after that reboot, we have to start pressing the escape button. So we have access to the system menu. 
So as you can see, here we are, continue startup, change language system information, and we can see that the name of the computer and the version is 1.12. So I'm going to go to system information, and as you can see there, uh, if we check the system BIOS, it also says 1.12. So we have succeeded at upgrading the BIOS version for this HP T630 thin client. So that's how you update the BIOS um, for this uh, model. It's kind of long, but you know, that's how it's done, okay? So if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video.